Namaste, my dear friends. We are in the fourth video today exploring the wonderful yoga granthas of Yoga Acharya Shri T. Krishnamacharya. Today, I have decided to speak on an important text that is called the Yoga Rahasya of Nathamani. Now, many of you may wonder why I'm, we are including Yoga Rahasya of Nathamani as a grantha of Yoga Acharya Shri T. Krishnamacharya. Yoga Rahasya is actually a text that is authored by Sri Nathamuni and it is a text that was written in the 9th century because that is the time Nathamuni was alive and Nathamuni composed this text. However, for various reasons this text got lost. And it is Sri T. Krishnamacharya who revived this text through a certain meditative practice that he had, a certain meditative experience that he had in a very very holy spot in South India called Alwar Tirunagari which is a place where our tradition originated from Namalwar and Yogacharya Krishnamacharya kind of in today's terms you could say downloaded this text from Sri Nathamuni himself and that is why we are so lucky to have the Yoga Rahasya of Nathamuni today to share with all of you. The Yoga Rahasya of Nathamuni is an extraordinary text and it is believed that there were 12 chapters in the book but currently we only have four chapters that Yoga Acharya Sri T. Krishnamacharya passed on to us. And these four chapters already offer extraordinary teachings and some of the teachings are very very profound. For example it highlights the two different types of yoga called the Bhakti Yoga and the Prapati Yoga which is very very central to the Sri Vaishnava tradition and the Visishta Advaita philosophy and this is one of the most unique approaches, most unique texts that talks about such a teaching and this is something that is very very remarkable. Yoga Rasi also talks about the importance of yoga for women and in this way it is showing us how Nathamuni was a pioneer already in the 9th century to introduce yoga to women in such an open manner and such a, an auspicious manner. The Yoga Rasya also talks about the practice of Samantraka Bhyasa which is a very important Vedic principle and it is something that is very very important in Patanjali's yoga as well, the practice of mantra in yoga practices. Another chapter in the Yoga Rasya presents the Vinayoga approach which is modifying yoga practices to suit different stages of our life based on our age, based on our responsibility that we carry etc. So this is another important contribution of the Yoga Rahasya as well. Another extraordinary contribution of Yoga Rahasya is also the amount of teachings that it offers on yoga as a therapeutic approach. So many different asanas and pranayamas are talked about in the context of yoga therapy and this is wonderful to see that yoga therapy was already in practice so many years ago and it is not something that is new just started 20-30 years ago. So this is also a very very rich uh, text full of information that is very very valuable for yoga therapy my dear friends. Another important uh, part of this text towards the end of this text is talking about yoga as a deeply spiritual practice and I think this is such something that was so dear to Yoga Acharya, Shri T. Krishnamacharya because that is what our tradition, the Vaishnava tradition, the Vinayoga tradition actually really really believes in that yoga should be leading us into a much more spiritual life and that is very very deeply rooted in the Yoga Rahasya of Nathamuni as well. So these are some of the highlights of the Yoga Rahasya of Nathamuni and we are very lucky that we have translated this text into English language and you can find uh, the link in the description below to obtain your own personal copy my dear friends. Please don't miss this text. This is a remarkable text and of course as I said earlier even though it's not Yogacharya's own composition we would definitely like to attribute it to him as one of his Granthas of Yoga because without him we would not have access to these wonderful teachings. Mm -hmm.
Namaste, my dear friends. Namaste, my dear friends. My name is Kaustuba Desikachar and I am the representative of the Vini Yoga tradition of Yoga Charya Shri T. Krishnamacharya and Yoga Charya Shri T. Kevi Desikachar. We are so happy that you watched our video thus far and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of all the great videos that we are sharing on a regular basis. If you are somebody who loves yoga, if you are somebody who loves classical yoga, be assured that you will benefit greatly by subscribing to our channel. So thank you for your support and your support means a lot to us because it means that we can continue to offer such great videos in the future. Namaste, my dear friends.